we have the BMW manifold upside down. See the turbo outlet is here. Um, to make it fit, I have to grind this area here to fit into a piece of the block that was sticking out. Um, this I also cut off, and honestly, I don't think I needed to, but um, I did have to grind about, I'm going to say two millimeters. You could see it's a uh, pretty shitty, but it fits well. Um, all of the top bolts, which are on the bottom right now, line up. All of these studs, well, not all of them, every second one lines up with the studs on the block. In fact, so if you compare a Volvo manifold with this BMW one, uh, the first thing you'll notice is that there is no bolt here. And that's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to figure out something for that as a means to clamp this in some way because it's otherwise it's only going to be clamped through this bolt hole and that's going to suck. Um, otherwise, we've got to drill new holes in here. I'm going to use a gasket from a five cylinder, single piece gasket from a five cylinder to uh, light, line those up and drill them. And uh, definitely not precision engineering. But we'll get it on there. My little concern that it might not seal, and um, given that the ports are bigger on the BMW manifold, uh, with a bit of luck, the uh, the Volvo gaskets will be able to make up the difference between the two because the wall on them is pretty wide, as you can see here. So we'll give that a go. As an example, here's what a single Volvo gasket would look like. And in this case, we're on cylinder six. And again, you can see that the stud in the head is quite a bit off. So I'm going to have to figure out something about that for that. Um, but actually, I mean, it's definitely not perfect, but it might work. And that's really all I'm asking for is that it works. So we'll see. I will try the five cylinder gasket across and we'll see, uh, see if I can get these extra holes drilled would be something like and that's the thing too is these extra bolt holes that have to be drilled uh, do overlap the existing ones in the manifold so i guess that's something you got to be careful about so this is what it looks like after it's been ground Alright, see if we can get Spoolie Boy up and in here one handed. So you can see in that corner at the edge, the corner of the flange is hitting the bell housing on the engine itself. So that's going to have to be shaved. So I figured uh, before I go tearing or trying to figure out exactly how it should place in there and grind the pieces off and go back and forth. I'm just going to take the hot side of the turbocharger off the CHRA here. I'm just trying to slide the hot side up in there first. I think there's clearance around the block for everything else, but uh, everything that's to do with the hot side and this flange, it's definitely tight in there. So that's what we're going to do. So now I've got the hot side just by itself without the entire turbocharger, which makes it easier to kind of place up against the manifold. And what I've noticed is that the stud spacing from front to rear uh, is just slightly off so that's also preventing it from getting up and in there so i'm gonna have to oblong the bolts sorry the bolt holes in the flange bolts here and i'm gonna grind off this corner too because it's just hitting there i actually can get it in there just about if i slide above but i think I put the stud in that corner where it's absent right now it's gonna cause a problem so I'll chamfer a bit off this corner here and open up the bolts the bolt holes very slightly and yeah give that a go it's not gonna work the rear turbo outlet on that manifold is just too far back it's too close to the bell housing um, you could maybe make it work if you pushed it out from the head like three four inches But really there's just no way you could get any turbocharger in there right now as it is You could use an E36 top mount, right? One of the expensive $506 ones. I think that would work 
Although if you're spending that much money, why would you then go and drill it? It's up to you. So yeah, really what we need is for the turbo outlet or where, where, the, where the turbo joins the manifold to be more centered on the engine. So I'm gonna see if I can hack up something really, really nasty with the original, um, what are two piece, two by three cylinder um, manifold. See if I can hack them up in some way, get a T3 um, flange on there and see if we can make it work.